Hey guys and welcome back to another Gumpla TV review. Today we have another variable fighter girls kit and it is the VF25S Messiah. Now I really like these kits because of the amount of things you can do with them. Um, it has so many different modes. This one has three modes. The fighter, which is just the plane, the girl walk and the batroid mode. Now, I'll have to do this bit by bit because obviously it needs transformation. I've still got a lot of runners that have parts on them that I'm going to have to add and take bits off. But um, generally, you get a girl as well and a fighter and she can either become part of it or she can ride on top of it. When I was looking at this, I thought uh, it's probably exactly the same as the other ones that I've built. I built another one and it's generally the same kit but um apparently this one has i, I haven't got into the other stages yet so i don't 100 percent know but this one has easier than ever before leg movement in the jailwalk mode i'm probably mutilating that pronunciation just the ability to move parts and posing and the amount that you can move it in that that type of half hybrid fighter mode which is what you can see on this bit here, which is our print out of our website. So you can see fighter mode on the left, middle is the batroid mode, and on the right is the jailwalk mode, girl walk, whatever it is. And you can also have it in a check, a special type of legged, <laughs> legged um, fighter mode. So there's actually four different ways you can build this. Now, if I'm being honest, I really love it like this. I just think it's type of natural. It doesn't look weird and it's conventional. And that's pretty me, pretty much me um, when it comes to these type of kits. I, I've got to say that I find that this type of riding legged weird mode is a bit weird. I do like this mode, but I've also got the last one I made already in that. So I thought I'd spice it up a bit and keep it in this once I have finished this review. But unfortunately, first, I have to go through the hassle for you guys to show the actual thing off. Also, in this review, I will be showing off the cat girl from uh, Super Robot Series by Wave. And uh, yeah, I think she's cool. Um, very simple. Not very, not much to her. It does come with extra weapons and stuff like that, like a little pan and a sword and stuff. I'll do that at the end of the review. If anyone wants to see about that, tag it on the end. So to start off with, let's look what, it, look what it comes with, this set. By the way, it does not come with a lightsaber. That comes from a figure arts Luke Skywalker thing. Or maybe it was Anakin, actually. I think he had two lightsabers. So, yeah, lots of stickers. Uh, they don't look too bad. It's normally on the edges. It's on parts that don't really stand out. Like from here, you can see it's not too bad. It's all straight edges, so it's not trying to curve around a sphere or something like that and that's when you get the worst effects from stickers and also it comes with quite a few decals water transfer decals and these are used for the eyes and also the military markings so I've put some really nice sharp ones on the side here I'll just show you that so you can see one here and another one just here and also on the top of the bird you can see that ram skull which is pretty cool and they give you two options to fit that one on so there's a crease on the top of the fighter and it means that like on that crease the ears would get cut off a little bit so if you really are a perfectionist you can put these two bits on separately and it means that you don't get that wave under the joint of it, like the panel linings bits. So I, oh, also there is um, interchangeable clear parts for the purple bits at the front, the canopy. I mean, I'm not sure why you'd want to do anything but the purple because like it's more exciting, unless you really want to be like a purist. <laughs> Changeable faces. So here are those faces. You've got a blush face, a cheeky face, a blank face if you want to make your own, 
and then the fighter face there. And of course it comes with plenty of hands, which is great. I think that's a standard these days, to be honest. So back to the girl herself. Let's look at her first. So she is Messiah. Now the posability on this is great. It really is. So her legs, one in the type of armored form and one in the other form, just to show you a variety, which you have the option to do. Uh, the hands, they're actually quite sturdy. The joints go in really well. Uh, there's no ball joint there. It's just a stick pin that goes in. And I actually prefer that when you're trying to do posing because I don't think you need too much flexibility like that, especially when you've got such good flexibility elsewhere on the arm. Her head, nice. These also move up and down. And this also would rotate if you're not a plonker like me and accidentally destroyed the joint at the top. So that's actually going to be fixed in place now because I glued it in. So else, elsewhere, you've got the mid under the bust. There's a ball joint there. That's quite good. And the legs go not quite full splits, but you know, well, I guess if you rotated it like that, it would, that looks a bit weird. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's nice and flexible. You do have rotatability on the, on the feet too. So if you're trying to pose it, especially when you're putting a prop in, its, in, in her hand, I find it nice that you can, you can have that posability on the legs to give more stability. But also, it doesn't look bad on, on the stand. Now the thing is, I've used a different stand that has two connectors, just so we can look at it, look at them together. You do get a Kotobukiya stand, quite a big one. It's quite sturdy, so it will hold both either or. Or the when it's in a different form, it would hold both, which is cool. Okay, now let's look at the fighter. I'll take it off here for now. So the move moving parts on this, and there aren't too many. Obviously, at the back, you've got the the braces on the legs, they do move. And the engines themselves, I mean, I'm calling the legs now, but <laughs> it's just the, the engines. These also do open up. They reveal the jet engine underneath, which is cool. Quite a lot of nice detailing here. Um, what I would say is that unlike the last kit, this is all molded in gray. So the panel lines won't have so much as, as a, an effect like I did in the last video. But you could still do them and it would still look neat. I've just skipped them this time because of time. I don't have enough time to do it. But I would if, it really would if you're a great fan of this and you want to put some time into it, do these panel lines with some black, black paint. That would look really nice. These side guns move slightly. And nothing else moves that much. Uh, the wings do. Are oh, they folding in and out, right? So that's cool. But apart from that, it's all very much a static fighter. So actually under here, there is a part that you can't see at all right now that's at, that turns into her gun. Now, if I can, that took a bit of a time, but anyway, as you can see here, this has a cool cannon part on it with nice clear purple plastic. And you can transform this into a gun that she will hold in a different form. And it just slots nice and easily just behind the cockpit. Boom. That's cool. So I think I'm going to transform this up now. There's nothing else that moves. It is as it is. You've got the girl and the fighter. And let's move on to the next stage. Okay, and I am back. I have transformed her into her gear walk mode. So whilst I was doing it, there's a lot of really cool features that you don't notice when it's just in fighter mode, like the way that all the joints move and act and, you know, you flip things around to make sure it works. It's really amazing how they've managed to fit all of this into something that looks like a fighter plane and then suddenly it becomes more. There are a few things you have to add for this and that is the arms. That's the main thing, basically. Apart from that, you're just moving and taking bits off and putting them elsewhere. So these are extended out. They, were, they used to, like the, the panel here used to be in there, but now you've tough moved it out. And you flip these around at the bottom so you can swick them up like that. 
and then move it however you want. And obviously you unhook these to get so you can see the engine. Now the really cool thing about uh, the legs is these legs have been pulled out of the socket like they used to be up here like at the top and you can see now they're longer so they're standing. There's this little um, bit here that actually it used to be in that position holding it short in the short leg form and then you flip it down to the bottom and it clicks in there when you've pulled the leg out so I thought that was really neat a way that you can make sure it's sturdy and stuff like that. Now there's just a few things that I noticed whilst I was I was making this compared to the other version is to be honest it is actually different <laughs> um, to the one I made before I mean as you can see the one before the arms are, you know they're, they're different on this one totally different so my mistake I, uh, I hadn't seen this in a long time and I just recognized it to be quite similar but yeah obviously it's a different plane so yeah that was cool they are similar size of course but not the same plane so also one other thing, I now realize why the decal was split up on the other one. And it's because if you're like really want to just put it on, um, if you only want to use this as the fighter, then these these uh, wings never need to hook up. But as soon as um, you move them up, it bends the, the decal on the sheet so it, it can break it. And um, I had to be very careful with that. Also, I noticed that I'd forgotten to put the shield on the back. But uh, now that has moved and is his arm shield. So that's pretty neat. I think moving it back wouldn't take that long. It took a while for me because I was trying to see where I need to twist things and I had to obviously build the arms. But generally it was quite easy to make and I think you could switch it back quite quite easy. So she actually can perch, it, perch on here and her feet go into these little bits at the back. And there is actually a groove there, so it slots in, but it's really difficult to do and I'm because I'm going to take her off in a minute anyway, I didn't bother. So she's just perched there. Um, this was the part I told you before that will turn into a weapon at some point, but for now it's just the, as you can see, it's just her type of navigation system. You can see the sticker on there, so that's quite neat. Now it pulls out. You can still just about see that little purple bit underneath, but that will be hidden until another transformation. So the fighter's legs actually are quite flexible um, and they're sturdy, they're nice and sturdy. So you've got, you've got joints at top and then here and this goes in and out as much as you really want it to. The back bits go up and down if you want to use her on it. The wings can still go in, they can be folded in and folded up but be careful obviously of those decals. I think it's necessary to use a stand for this because it's not very well balanced at certain points. So you want to be careful with that, but in general, I'm I'm a fan of a fan of this. But putting it together was a bit of a hassle at times because bits were falling off. I have actually decided to glue down this shield here, this part of the undercarriage, because I don't think that ever comes off at any point during any transformation. So I thought thought well, why not? And also these um, tail fins have the peg going into the uh, engine has been glued in because they are very stiff to move around and it pops out the whole time and that was annoying me so I glued that in as well. Obviously the girl has not made any, she hasn't been changed or anything like that and she will only change in this final transformation when she turns into the plane herself. And that is the Batroid mode which you can see yeah. So that one's already in the Batroid mode. This is the go up mode and we saw the fighter mode. I'm just going to show you a clip of how cool the way that the uh, legs pop out. There's a little clip and they just hook in and so the actual part isn't fixed apart from that clip so you can pull the legs straight out. And then this allows you to disassemble and take apart the whole thing. And then you put the legs inside of the fighter, fighter legs. You flip the bird itself round on itself. That's why it's uh, on her back, like halfway. You add a harness so you can add the two arms, um, the, the fighter arms, and you can also add these little side pieces to the ones in front. And there you go. And as you can see now, she has that gun. Now, one thing I've got to say is that the hands are, are useless. Look, I mean, there's no, there's no grip. And this is just awful. I had to use some gum just to hold it in place. Um, there you can see the 
the cool bit on the edge, the purple clear plastic. And behind it, there is the same panel. Let me take this off. Like navigation thing that we had before, but this is actually a different sticker because you add on a bit underneath. So all in all, it's it's not too bad. That didn't take me too long. It was very frustrating trying to get it in a good pose. And also it is so unbalanced that you really have to use a stand. Um, I wouldn't expect you're going to be able to get this to stand up without, you know, other support. Because even even though the legs are quite sturdy, uh, they do not hold up. They start She starts doing the splits if you uh, don't use a stand. The stand itself just has to... I don't even, I think I'm using a, a hook because the pin doesn't fit in when you've got that thing on the back. So I'd be careful with that. Um, same with this one. Anyway, the, and have a look at them. And there are similarities, of course, but, um, you know, the weapons are different and the general look is quite different, but the, the mechanics behind it are pretty similar. That wraps up the review of this VF25S Messiah kit. Um, let me let me know if you've built it and if you had any troubles with uh, some of the posing or getting things to stay in, like holding guns and stuff like that. But all in all, um, it's got, it, like as this form, it's got a good, a good um, posability with both arms. I just wish they'd have made this a bit better. I know you can put you can put some gum in there or something like that to make it better. Obviously these still do go up. You can still flip them up depending on how you want to show off your kit. Because her legs are in here, she still uses the same knee joints so you can move that around. And these still come in and out but not so much because her legs in there now. So yeah, all in all there are many possibilities. Now, I'm not sure which one I want to keep to be honest. I thought I was going to have the fighter, but now I've got it in this mode. I'm <laughs> thinking of just leaving it like this. Yeah, I think that's what happened with the Scald. So, well, either or, tell me what you would leave it in, what form you would you would choose to have it in. Would you be too lazy to move it back, or would you just not even bother transforming it into any of the other modes but the fighter mode originally? Obviously, they allow you to just make the fighter, which is why that decal was in two forms, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's a great use of the kit, if you just leave it like that. You'd want to transform it at least once, maybe. Okay, and now, as I promised, just finally, this uh, girl kit from WAVE, the multi-purpose humanoid robot, C-A-T-0-0. It's just an original original robot from, like, a cat industry in China. So it's it's just meant to be, like, some company is making robots, and that's it. It's just an original one. There are ten interchangeable hands. And you get a, if in the first release, you get a Type 95 automatic rifle. Now, this has got a lot of different parts to it that you can exchange. But um, basically, the main one is like this. And then you can add a sniper rifle to it. But you can just slot them in and out and take them off. And underneath, you've got, um, you know, other extra parts that you can clip on. And it comes with a spare magazine and some bullets. So I've actually left them on the runner, but you can see the bullets there in the magazine here. Now, oh, I don't think they're bullets, actually, they're maybe grenades, but... Um, what I'd say about this kit is that the type of plastic is very type of fudgy. I found myself cutting into it too much and creating white marks, and it was quite irritating, to be quite honest. Um, and the joints are so tight that it's it's impossible unless you give it a real good, you know, pull, like you can see here. Oh, there we go. It, they don't move very well. So, so her legs are really stiff. But on the other hand, her arms are quite loose. They come out all the time. It's a cute little kit. I, it took like five seconds to put together as well. But would I... I wasn't happy with the plastic quality, to be quite honest. Uh, she comes with a frying pan. Uh, a sword or a small sword depending on which one you want to put into the heath uh, put into the holder and a knife and you get three different faces type of and a normal one shouting and just a blank face and the one here with her being all happy and smiley and a blank face 
if you want to use your decals. So that's basically it. Um, funnily enough, this kit too has problems with holding stuff in the hands. Uh, the, yeah, it wasn't. Maybe I just suck at it, but I found that rather irritating because she just looks really naff without, you know, it doesn't hold properly and then this falls apart. I don't know, you'd probably want to decide which which one you want, the sniper or the, or the, you know, other bit, so you can glue it together. But it, this thing falls so much apart, everything, putting stuff in her hands was just impossible. So, looks cute, not very practical. And that about does it. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.